comfort. A lot of people chase it nowadays. I don't have anything against people who seek it. But I honestly believe that it's a psychological state that can lead to ignorance and indifference. You know, sometimes, I think it's the devil's way to make you look away on what he's been doing to the world to make it his. And I think that, on the other side of the coin, God wants us to be uncomfortable. In a world like ours and in this generation, I think it's so much easier to act without even taking the time to think. A lot of people just want to take a leap without thinking about the repercussions and the consequences of their initial actions. And anyone can decide to protest, spend money for a cause, make a donation, post a black square, a blue square, hashtags everywhere, but they're just gonna stop as soon as it ceases being trendy. And all these actions are actually worthless, in my opinion, I mean, if you don't fully understand what you're fighting for. And that's why I believe the key to real change comes from the simple yet complex act of reflecting on your ideals and yourself. So basically thinking. And I think you can change and become a better person if you take the time to meditate. Just sitting down in your room, Think about your life, food for your thoughts, get lost in your thoughts, you know, just for a moment, maybe take five minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, but, you know, just five minutes should be enough, frankly, and I think that the power of thought is the greatest weapon to actually change the world. And you gotta choose where you aim that weapon. And right now, if you look closely, the main target is evil.